Yoo-hoo! Hi, friends! Yoo-hoo! Hey, wait a minute! It's not Toddler Tuesday! No, it's not Toddler Tuesday. Today is Big Kid Wednesday! Hooray! Too much talking for me! I go outside and play. Bye! Bye, friends! Hi, friends! Welcome to the show! I am wearing a party hat. You're right, it's somebody's birthday today. And we will sing happy birthday to her in just a minute. But today is Big Kid Wednesday and we do special things for big kids. We do more talking, more, more talking about music and showing and practicing. You might enjoy it if you're little, but this is for bigger kids, five, six, seven, eight. But you might enjoy it too, so welcome to the show. My name is Miss Emily. I'm happy to see you. Let's begin. Are you ready? Let's say a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Open up and shut the door. 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 And then we have to ask, are you ready? Two letter R's. Are you ready to make music together? together at the same time. Hooray! Are you ready to make music? Yes, I am. And in sign language, we say yes. Like this, a little head going up and down like this. We say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I say, are you ready to make music? You say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And we say, let's start. Start is like turning on a car. Start. Let's start. Let's begin. And we say, yay, music. Okay, but well, we didn't spell it yet, so let's spell music. Ready? M-U-S-I-C. Again, M-U-S-I-C. Again, M-U-S-I-C. And that is music in sign language music. And that is music. Can you switch arms just for fun? Music. And that is music. And that is music. And that is music. Yay, music. Two more times. Yay, music. And yay, music. Hooray. Oh, big truck going by there, friends. Hey, my name is Miss Emily. E-M-I-L-Y. Yes, and I am doing sign. Sign is a way of communicating for people who don't speak. Yeah, or who can't hear. Both. If you can't, if you are nonverbal, you might sign. Or if you are not hearing, you might sign. Also reading lips, right? Okay, friends, 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 we are ready to start. Let's say hello to everyone. I have a special treat for you today. We're going to take a tour of the piano and I'm gonna teach you how to play. Well, why am I holding a guitar? Hmm, good question. I wanted you to see and hear the difference. This is a string instrument guitar. I have to play it by strumming. If I don't strum, I don't hear anything, right? It's made of wood. It has a body, a neck, a head, and a sound hole and strings. I can strum the strings or I can pluck the strings. And I play by pressing my fingers on the strings to make them shorter and longer to change the pitch. And that is called the fretboard. There are six strings on the guitar and six tuning pegs. Hello to everyone. How are you today? Hey!
you join me in saying happy birthday to my dear friend Rosemary? Also, I think she might really like to have some special bubbles. She's going to laugh out loud when she sees this. Ready? Come on, Bubbles. Here they come. Whee! Come on, Bubbles. Do your thing. Come on, Bubbles. No, Bubbles. Come on, Bubbles. There they go. Whee! <laughs> there I go. Bubbles! Whee! Isn't that silly and ridiculous, friends? And maybe a little bit annoying, too? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're here today. And I would like to start by going over to the piano right away so we can do piano time. I want to teach you how to play the piano. What do you think about that? Would you enjoy that? All right, friends. Let's go over to the piano. Got to get my glasses. Yoo-hoo! Glasses, where are you? Here are my glasses. Oh, hello, friends. Let's see. All right, I'm going to take you over to my piano now. Da, 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 da. Piano time. Piano time. You can see the piano. Hooray! There's the piano. Okay, friends. Piano is a very large instrument. You have to have a lot of room in your house for a piano. Okay. I'm going to show you around the piano. Let's see. A piano has keys. That's right. A piano has keys. Yes, these are the keys. And in the olden days, they were made of ivory from an elephant or a rhino. That is true. The inside is wood and the outside, the white part, was made of ivory. But since elephants are protected now, we don't use ivory on newer pianos. Older pianos probably still have ivory keys. Yeah, imagine that. These are plastic on the outside and wood on the inside, right? And what do you see? I see... I see white keys. I see black keys. And I see a whole pattern of keys starting way over here. I start way over here, right? Wow, and I go all the way up the piano. Oh my goodness, I'm going to tell you how many keys there are. We could count, but I'm going to tell you. Whoop, it's a pattern. There are 88 keys, crackers, and cheese. All right, so friends, let's see. If I start down here, here's the pattern. It goes, well, let's start, let's start here. Okay, let's start here. So it goes white, black, white, black. White, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, white. The p this continues this whole pattern all the way up the keyboard. But right in the middle of the piano with the keys is middle. The middle of the piano, middle C. We call that middle C. Oh, you see these marks? Yes. This is treble clef. This is bass clef. Many people see this and say, music. They say, that means music. Well, a lot of people think so. Yes, that is probably the most um, prevalent sign that you will see in music. So people say, oh, that must be music. That's right. This is music, too. All right, let's take a look inside the piano. Would you like that? Okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, we made a jump. What's going on? What are those? Okay, friends. So every key that I press, I'm pressing that key, right? This is a string instrument as well as a percussion instrument. I have to hit the key, but every key is attached to a hammer which hits strings. And every key has three strings to make one note. What? That's crazy. All right, so inside the piano is a huge harp. There's a huge harp in here. Yep, I think that's called the soundboard. I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. And the strings are attached just like on my guitar. They have to be attached to something. These are the tuning pegs. That's where the strings are attached, right? And when Ron tunes the piano, he takes an instrument. I'm going to show you the instrument right now. To tighten or loosen the strings to get the proper pitch. So just give me a second here. 
Okay. All right. So, yes, they look like screws, right? I can tighten them or loosen them, right? See this cool instrument? Yep. Yeah, cool. It fits right on there, right? And I can tighten or loosen the strings to make the sound higher or lower. That is called tuning, tuning the piano, right? Just like I can tune my guitar with the tuning pegs. Now, way down here at this end, there is a big string because these notes are low. Did you see that one hit? It hits. And it resonates, right? So down here, there's really only one giant string per key. But then we get up to here, and it takes three strings to make one note. So let's watch the hammers. Let's watch the hammers hit the strings. Isn't that cool? And the hammers are felt, and they're, it's a, a simple machine. It's a simple machine. I look down here and I see that they're connected. Then if you look in here, there's a damper. After I play the note, right? After I play the note, you see that? There's the hammer hitting the strings, but then there's a little guy right underneath the hammer, right down here. And he goes right after the hammer and he pushes on there to damper, to dampen the sound, to cut off the wiggling vibration. So there are pedals down below. Some kids think that you pump the pedals to make the pu music play. <laughs> you don't do that. You don't do that. The pedals do different things. The pedals, oh, there's a stick under my piano. Hello, stick. <laughs> now you see all my dust. Um, the pedals do different things to the strings, so listen. That's just without any pedal, okay? I'm going to push this down. That's the sustain pedal. That pedal lifts up, lifts up the damper so that there's no damper so that the strings can continue to wiggle and vibrate and make the sound resonate or sustain. Isn't that cool? All right, let me move these. Then I have a middle pedal which I actually don't know what that's for. Let's try the other one. The other one um, has the damper go on right away, right away, so there is no sustain, okay? There's no sustain. All right, so friends, those are the pedals, those are the strings. Let's go way up here to the highest note of all, way up here. It sounds like fairy music. That's the highest pitch on the piano, and those are the tiniest strings. Now, we've talked about, about how Grandpa would have big vocal cords and a deep voice, and a baby would have tiny vocal cords. So those strings are pretty skinny. Those strings are very skinny. I could play it like this, like a harp, just going across the strings like that. And way over here is the grandpa string, right? Ba, ba, grandpa, grandpa string. I'm plucking. And I'm coming all the way up to the tiny strings way in here. Hello, tiny strings, are you in there? There they are, I see them. Cool, those are the tuning pegs. Cool. Now, let's get back to playing the piano, shall we? So if I close the top of the piano, it's going to get a little quieter. It won't resonate as much. Let's close the top of the piano. Now I'm going to close the middle section of the piano, if I can. I do it properly. Ooh, almost. Almost. And I'm going to put another piece back on the piano so that I can put music in front of me. Right now, I can't put my music books up there. They'll fall over, and I'd like to play some music for you. So give me just one second, okay? So 
I want you to say, la, 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 la. Can you say that? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Okay, ready? Now we'll repeat that on the piano for fun. Oh, wow, it goes right up. Let's call this middle C, right? And we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is also one of the next octave. It's separated into sets of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Or do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. That is a C scale. We call them scales. Scala, scale, means steps. It's like going up the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can play a lot of songs just by using these eight keys right here and not even any black ones yet. We could if we want to. Would you like to hear some songs? I'm going to play some songs for you. Okay, so... Um, let's see. Here's, here's something I want to show you. Each of these, each of these is called a note. Each of these keys has a name in addition to numbers. So this is C, middle C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's it. There are no H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P's. QRS, TUVs, WXYZs in music. There just aren't. There's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's it. And then it repeats again. So let me just do one thing here. And I'm going to play you some songs. What do you think about that? I'm going to put you over here so you can see the piano still because I think that is nice. What do you think? Yes? Let's see if you can still see the piano. Yeah, you can still see the piano. Can you see the keys? The keys are more interesting to me. Okay, let's do the keys. Okay, here we go. Let's play some songs, okay? So I'm going to play um, some scales just for fun so you can hear how that sounds. This is a C scale. Right? Um, let's play a song with three notes, only three notes. Okay, I'm sorry, four notes. All right, let's play another song. You guess this song, okay? change the style of the song a little bit instead of playing legato which is smooth I can do staccato which would sound like this staccato means hot 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 so it's it, it actually means striking motion staccato but I say it's hot hot keys all right so let's play another song, and um, this one I'm going to play only on the black keys, just for fun. It's Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater. Are you ready? Peter, Peter, Pumpkin Eater had a wife and couldn't keep her. Put her in a pumpkin shell, and there he kept her very Hey, that sounds kind of cool. Hey, maybe we should do a song with some white keys and some black keys. But before that, let's go back to this scale. So we say... C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, G, E, F, right? It just continues and cycles all the way up and down the piano. So now I'll play a real song for you. This is a song that one of my students wrote. So I do give Zoom lessons on piano, 
and um, I would love to do that for you. So this is what the song looks like. The song looks like this. We wrote it on a big piece of paper. There's that treble clef. It says, please pay, play with your right hand from middle C upward. We don't have any bass clef on this song. It's all treble clef. And um, there are four notes in each measure, or four beats in each, in each measure. These are the staff lines, okay? And it goes like this. She's piling up the notes into chords. She is piling up the notes into chords like scoops on an ice cream cone. Instead of one note at a time, she's playing three notes at a time. Let's see what that sounds like. Wow, isn't that cool? So each of these tells me to play a note on a different key on the piano. And when you take lessons with me or someone else, or if you watch YouTube videos to learn by yourself, which many children do, you will learn to read these notes. And the cool thing about music is once you learn it, you'll never forget it. And not only that, it's the same in every language. What? Yes, so if a German composer writes a song or a French composer writes a song, guess what? They are going to use this same language of music and you will know it forever. So it doesn't matter if you speak Chinese, Japanese, um, if you speak Swahili, Arabic. When you sit down to play and look at the music, you can play it no matter what language you speak, whether you're deaf or hearing. Even blind, blind musicians can have manuscripts written for them as well. Okay, friends, let's play a song from a book that I know you really like. This is This Land is Your Land, remember? And I'm only using this for educational purposes. Whoop. Okay, so I'm going to use this book, and I'm going to play the song for you out of the book. This Land is Your Land. Whoop. Let's do it, okay? This Land is Your Land, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to open the book to the music section. And here's the song. Can you see the song? Yay, there's the song. See the notes? Okay, there's the treble clef. It doesn't have the bass clef, but it is giving me the names of the chords to play with my left hand, right? And these are the notes. Oh, look, there's a sharp. There's a sharp in this song. Yep. And all of these notes, if you learn to read music, you'll know it forever. You can play any song that somebody puts in front of you, at least the melody. The melody is the tune. The melody is the tune, and you know this one. La, 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 la. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Very good. Let's do it. You ready? Okay, friends. I'm going to sing with you and you sing with me, okay? And then on the other side of the page are the lyrics. Those are the words, right? But Woody Guthrie wrote the words and the melody, the tune. Here's a song that I wrote. I did not write it out on manuscript paper. I just wrote the notes because I was in a hurry. And I didn't have manuscript paper to write the notes on the lines. But I made up this song the other day for a program that I did. And I think it's really cute. I'm going to play it with one hand so I can still hold it for you. <laughs> 
Okay, maybe I can hold it like this. There we go. I used a piece of tape. Okay, ready? It goes, you can do anything. I can do anything. We can do anything. And then I repeat. You can do anything. I can do anything. We can do anything. And then I have a second page that is the bridge of the song says, with support and practice and lots of dedication. I can make my dreams come, come true With support and practice and lots of dedication You can make them come, come true too And I just had to remember that. I didn't write it down. Let's go back to the top. The top means the beginning. You can do anything. I can do anything. You can do anything. You can do anything. I can do anything. We can do And we say, bravo, bravo, bravo. That means great. Encore means again, again, encore, encore. I think we had enough. Well, let's do that one one more time. Ready? You can do anything. You can even teach yourself how to play piano. Of course you can. You can do anything. I can do anything. We can do and a lot of dedication, you can do anything too. All right, friends, so let's go back to our regular show. Did you enjoy the piano part? I really hope you do. Oh, wait, I know, I was gonna do a couple more tricks for you. Piano tricks! Tell me if you recognize this song. <laughs> I will give you a hint, Beethoven. We were actually born on the same day, December 15th, if you want to send a present. called Fur Elise, and it was, in German, it means for Elise, and that is a very famous song. It's in a lot of video games, I hear. All right, how about another song, and you're going to guess what song this is. Ready, friends? I'll give you a hint. Ho, ho, ho. This is, this is a, um, an assignment I give to my students. I say you put your thumb on middle C, right here in the middle of the piano, and moms and dads, I use a permanent marker on the keys, but if they're not ivory and they're plastic, the permanent marker always comes off with rubbing alcohol. But I use it because it helps kids find their place on the piano keyboard. And anyway, I say start on middle C, and I put a star on middle C so they can always find it. And then I say, here's your trick. Every key has a finger to stick to just for now. Middle C will have thumbs. Thumbs you have to play on the sides for piano. You have to play on the sides like this. Because thumbs face in a different direction than fingers when you put them down, right? So the sides of your thumbs go on the keys. Yeah, because you can't do that. That's silly. That's, well, it's kind of exciting to watch, but it doesn't work because your other fingers your other fingers are in this direction so they they make a nice little claw or a curve like this and we play with the tops of our fingers if you have long fingernails it's going to sound clicky and you won't really get a good feel so most people trim their nails when they play piano they have nice short nails so that they can actually play the piano with the pad of their finger not the nail okay so um, middle C gets the thumb D or the second 
and the third. And it's just... I just want you to play three notes today. And the kids say, that's hard. And I say, I know, because I remember beginning too. But you can do it if you try and have support and practice. So I teach, I show, and then we practice. I teach, put your thumb on middle C, second finger on D, and third finger on E, and we're going to go up, bum, 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 and come back down, bum, bum. the left thumb on C and we are going down and it's just three notes today and it will take you a lot of practice because your fingers aren't used to doing this pattern or this uh, shape then when we get really good we can do both at the same time just for fun it's not very harmonic it sounds a little little off, but it's a nice exercise to do. Eventually you'll be doing your scales too, just for fun. Okay friends, so I'm so glad that you had a chance to check out the piano today. We'll do a little bit more Beethoven just for fun. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the guitar just so you can compare the two instruments. So friends, when I play guitar, remember we talked about the strings being connected to tuning pegs? They are connected here, right, on the guitar head, the guitar head, right? And each string is connected all the way down the neck to the bottom of the guitar, right? And the way I make different pitches is different here then on the piano, I'm going to move my finger by straightening, I mean shortening, the amount of string that can vibrate. So each string can get so many different pitches or notes. This is the amount of string that can vibrate now is very short compared to this length of string that can vibrate, okay? And um, anyway, I can play chords on the guitar by playing a number of strings at the same time. Three notes, just like that ice cream cone in the song that my student wrote, right? But there is no damper pedal on this instrument. I just have to play softer or use my hand to stop the strings from resonating. Anyway, I hope you liked our show today. Um, my name, my name is Miss Emily. My name is Miss Emily, and I make music for kids. I'm going to turn the camera on me now so you can see me. Okay, let's see. I'm going to turn you around. Here I am. Hello. Hi. So my name is Miss Emily, and you've been coming to Emily Music for Kids now for, this is our 64th episode. Mondays, music for everyone. Tuesdays, is Toddler Tuesdays, and Wednesdays is Big Kid Wednesdays. Obviously, on Wednesdays, we talk a lot more because I'm actually teaching about music so that um, kids can have a nice foundation and say, hey, Mom, I think I want to learn how to play piano. Parents ask which instrument to start with. I think piano is a great one. Of course, for little guys, toddlers, etc. It's always fun just to have a whole box full of percussion instruments, which I sell, that you would enjoy to play along with my show or any music you put on for them. Just give them their little box of instruments, and it comes with a tambourine and all kinds of things. Anyway, um, and also baby ukuleles, like pretend toy ukuleles are fun for kids because they really love to strum the strings, right? Get a cheap one because if it breaks, no one cries. And then I think kids 
either pick woodwinds or horns, which is great, but piano is a great foundation for all music, even just the beginning, just to understand um, harmony, melody, reading notes, um, time signatures, things like that, and then they can move on to anything. Um, if you are going to start with guitar, I don't recommend that till kids are like six or seven at least. That's very young because um, it's hard to make your fingers go in those shapes. It really is. You need a lot of um, uh, muscle coordination because the hands are pulling back toward the body and it, it's tricky because you're also trying to hold the guitar. Whereas piano, everything is right in front of your face, right? So that's why I like piano. It's all laid out right in front of us. And plus, it's just so much fun. I would get a piano in your house. Just get a piano. Uh, a Casio off Craigslist, cheap. Um, plug it in. Just And the kids have a ball playing with that. You'd be surprised. Um, they can do all that fun stuff with the rhythm and all that good stuff, too, just for fun. But it becomes something really interesting. You know, keep it plugged in and... As, a, as something in the house that is normal for people to walk up to and play with, right? And I think a real piano is awesome because it, it really, really encourages people to want to try. And it's just such a cool machine, right? Um, um, and when I lived in Brooklyn with my kids and my husband many years ago, we wanted a piano, and I just put signs around the neighborhood. This is pre-internet, people. <laughs> And I said, looking for a free piano, uh, looking for, looking to buy a piano for my kids. Okay, I got five offers for free pianos. Now, this is Brooklyn, so there's a lot more people. But usually people who want to get rid of a piano would be happy for you to come and move it. Because especially if they're on a three-floor walk-up or such, they are really anxious to get rid of that piano. So anyway, I got five offers for free pianos. We ended up taking one, which was really cool. It needed a little work, but not much, just tuning and a little repair that we could do ourselves. And then someone else gave us one. So for a long time, my kids had two pianos in the house. <laughs> That's actually how I grew up in with two pianos in the house as well, and seven children who were playing it. So, um, yeah, I, I would go to friends' houses and be like, where's the piano? It was so strange to me to not have a piano. This piano I play, I got for free. Um, so really and truly, all you have to do is go on your Facebook page, go on your local Craigslist and say, looking for a free piano for my kids. Seriously, you will get offers. And then take a friend who knows about music and especially a little bit about pianos to go with you to make sure you're not getting a broken, cracked soundboard. Those are things that really are too expensive to fix. Um, um, it has to be worth your time to make the move and the adjustments, you know. Um, um, but there are a lot of really good pianos out there, and people are just anxious to have the space in their home. They don't want it anymore. Um, that being said, um, um, please contact me if you'd like some Zoom lessons. Um, I love what I do, and I love to teach kids how to play. And um, anyway, let's close out for the day and say happy birthday rosemary hello to all my friends and um we'll say sing your way home maybe i'll play it on piano let me see if i can okay i don't know i don't know if i ever have played it on piano let's see i'm gonna try okay the fun thing about that is if you have a tune in your head if you have a tune in your head right you can come over to the piano and you can play it let's try it ready hmm i think i'm gonna try where should i start what do you think middle c why not Actually, I'm going to start in D. No, I'm going to start C, 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 I'm going to start on E. Sing your, sing your way home at the end of the day. Sing your way, your way home. Drive the shadows away. Smile, smile every day. I did it, friends. Sing your way. Oh, sing your way home at the end of the day. Sing your way, way home. Drive the shadows away. Smile every mile for, for wherever you roam. It will brighten your road. It will lighten your load. If you
Okay, friends, have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. I think you might be upside down right now. I'm sorry about that, but I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye, friends. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed the show. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.